Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at a little blast from the past here, the ATI Radeon HD4850 X2 dual GPU card made by Sapphire. Stick around and check it out. If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. So we have an S-Video to component adapter here. Got our user manual, still in really nice shape. This is a DVI to HDMI adapter, allowing you to connect it to more modern displays. This is a Molex to six pin PCI Express power adapter. And this one converts two Molex to an 8-pin PCI Express power connection. This adapter will convert DVI into a VGA connection in case you need to hook it up to an older monitor. Still comes with a Crossfire bridge. AMD no longer supports Crossfire, but this is back in the days when ATI still owned the company. Comes with a copy of 3 d Mark Vantage, so you can benchmark the card. I'll be trying to use this eventually. This includes the drivers for Windows XP and Windows Vista and has a nice little case sticker in case you felt like putting the Sapphire badge on your case. This adapts S-Video port to a single yellow video component. Ruby used to be the ATI mascot character and Ruby ROM would come with various demo games and so forth. Comes with a copy of Power DVD Suite and finally includes a free copy of Power DVD, which I'm not sure which version it is, but at the time, uh, Blu-rays were kind of the hot new thing, and so a lot of video cards would come with a copy of Power DVD so you could play Blu-ray with your new video card. Let's see, we get four full DVI ports and a single S-Video port. The 4850X2 launched on November 7th of 2008 has a GPU clock of 625 MHz, a memory clock of 995 MHz, 512 MB of GDDR3 memory on a 256-bit memory interface, supports DirectX 10.1, uses 250 watts, and takes a 608-pan PCI Express power connection. It also has 800 shader units per card. Shall we begin?
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.